Whether you're coming from a boat or a stand, welcome back to the lodge with your hosts, Matthew Dredska. Wait, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. No, no, <laughs> come on, no. <laughs> Dang. Uh, Patrick Mudge. I really don't know what to say that's funny because I'm not a very funny person. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. And Nick Condor. There's a difference between picking and itching. <laughs> <laughs> to the lodge is brought to you by icy tech usa it's the six o'clock hour here in west tennessee i'm patrick i'm matt i'm will and i'm nick and we are back to the lodge apparently according to our producer we have started season three. Oh wow what dictates the seasons ask justin i don't want to know <laughs> <laughs> i think it's so many episodes. I, I, know. I know I asked that question like I cared. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't. For the viewers at home? <laughs> yeah, not even for them. They I don't care. even know. Maybe, maybe because we took I, a break. <laughs> sometimes I just say yeah, things, fair. but I don't care. But people think I care. We care. Good. <laughs> we'll say no. No, we care when you open your mouth. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh, my gosh. It's so early. <laughs> it's too early. For Anyways. Me. Uh, as we start off season three, you know, we kind of was in season two. Nick, Nick's been moved to uh, your office desk there. Yep. Where yep you yep. hold it down with the sound audio and the video production, all that stuff, which is really cool. That's right. What you don't know if you're watching from home on Facebook, uh, give us a follow on Facebook if you're watching this. Nick will cue that up there. And uh, you like that? I did. Uh, <laughs> I didn't hate it. <laughs> but in any case, there's, there's a lot of space between us, like – I mean, we got. Yeah. If we throw stuff, we might knock something over. Yeah, there, there's a lot of equipment sitting right in front of me. So. Yeah, so yeah. we don't want to do. Get, it. But we can see you. I get the only yeah. clear shot. I, I, right you do. I can, right? I, can, <laughs> I, think so. I can make that shot. I'm telling you. Be careful. Oh, Here we go. At least that won't break it. But that's a weird. That's gonna fly funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me that. I'm not gonna hit anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So anyway, it's your phone. <laughs> Nick, That's true. Nick is, uh, man, that was horrible. And so loud. Nick is running our audio and video um, here, but remote from here. If that makes sense. Yeah, it didn't really make sense. Mm -mm. No, I'm well, just across the room. That across is, the room. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've got some poles between me. And right. You, yeah, yeah. And a yeah. camera and lights. <laughs> Oh my god. See, this is why you're not allowed to open your mouth. I didn't say anything. <laughs> you, I mean, <laughs> no, he did that. It was him. No, liar. It was my right microphone or headphone, so that'd be you. It was him. You can't get me. <laughs> Can we get him some wine? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Anyways, uh Wine with Will, uh episode one. The pilot was a couple weeks ago. Episode one was Friday. Uh not sure what you have in store for us this week. Hey, I don't think you do either. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite thing about it. It doesn't. It's. But you can catch Ryan with Will on now. Fridays, and we did make the executive decision. I.e., I made the decision. Mm -hmm. uh, the episodes will be at seven p.m. on Fridays, so that way it gives people time on the West Coast to be a little later in the day. And that was pre-game with me. One person complained about it, so that was enough. And I'm like, yep, it was, it was Justin one. No, actually, it wasn't Justin. <laughs> Smells like Justin. West Coast. <laughs> Actually, I haven't even really talked to Justin, but he'll be here Friday. He won't be on the episode next week, but he'll be in town uh, hanging out, probably do some barbecue and uh, be doing photography. Next week? You mean this week. weekend? This weekend. Did I say next like, weekend? Yeah, like two days. Yeah, this weekend. Here. He'll be here Yeah, Friday. I was, was going to say, I'm not going to see him, and then you said next week. I'm like, oh, I am going to see him. No, no. I'm not going to see even him. If, even if he did, you're busy. This weekend? Next weekend. I've just got a birthday party. I mean, it's kind of important. 
Yeah, that's one day out of the four days he would have <laughs> potentially been here. <laughs> it's true. In any case, you can follow Wine with Will on Back to the Lodge. Also on our podcast that's streamed on all platforms. Now, apparently some of our episodes for the month of March uh, didn't get released yet. I know. That's part of a transition, I guess, we're going through um, as we're kind of independently being produced now, which is apparently a good thing. Um, I'm still learning as I go. I don't know. But uh, in any case, all those episodes should be dumping in the next week. Okay. So they'll be back on Google, Apple, Amazon, Libsyn. What? What is that one? What? I've never heard of that one. Libsyn? Libsyn? No. That's a podcast distribution platform. Hmm. That's the one we're actually signed with. There's a lot of lips in here. Lib, lib, <laughs> lips in. Lips in. With a B. You know, I want your lips in. But oh, Will is taking sponsors for the show. I understand uh, even my brother reached out to a <laughs> southern distributor of wine and spirits, and uh, that'd be pretty cool, man. It would be cool. You could have, um, you could have your own uh, beverage sponsor. Yeah, and I wouldn't have to, like... I mean, it'd be I'm kind of messed learning. up. I don't know gotta, what to go buy. If we got to, like, change the show to, like, wine with bourbon, it just doesn't have the same ring. No. And it's not, it, not as... I mean, not that bourbon would be bad, but it, it would your be. pinky, uh, you know. Dude, you could have your own line of wine. I did not mean to rhyme that. <laughs> what? what? Actually, like, that's not a bad like, idea. Like, Will's wine. wine. Will's wine. wine. You can call it fat and bougie. I'll, yeah. Like, yeah. Wine. You have table wine. There's house wine. It could be commode wine. You know, you set it on the back. You're having a particularly yeah. rough go at it, you know, just, you know what would help? <laughs> Some nitrates, nitrites and stuff, you know. <laughs> like a, a dual thing, you know, like you got the toilet paper dispenser, Fiber one. the poo-pourri, and then you got <laughs> the, like. Do you use that? Chardonnay. What, poo-pourri? Yeah. I'm too cheap for that. <laughs> Au natural. That big brand for you. He cuts a pine, yeah, pine bow and just. <laughs> just I drop the mic, you know. I don't uh no, after after the spider incidents here, I don't stay in the bathroom very long. No. Nope. I haven't I mean, seen a spider in that bathroom no, this year. But this is the first time I walked into the bathroom with it being warm enough. I didn't go. I and, still have to pee. And I li- I walked in with my phone first. Mm-hmm. And then saw that the light was clear and I flipped it on and then I didn't see none. I didn't see any. Knock on wood, though. I mean, they're not small. You know, what I, you know what I did see today, though? And actually, I was just talking to my new neighbors about mm. they're they're not from Tennessee. They're from, well, they're actually both from the Midwest. They're mm. both in the military, bounced around in the military together, and then one of them retired and now lives near me. I'm not going to go into any more detail yet, but they were they bought a big 130 acres mm. right next to me, and they were asking about the critters around here. You know, what do we have? Snakes. Dogs. And we were talking about snake snakes. Snake. <laughs> and snake. I said, you know, I was, I was just talking about how everybody in the South, they see a snake, and they're all cottonmouths, right? I have Every, all of them. Well, Everyone. most people, yeah. And 99.9% of those snakes are not cottonmouths. Right. They're either, you know, Black or water snakes, water snakes just the water or banded yeah. water snakes, or yeah. common, what, either way. You got to catch them, I, kiss them to know. I accidentally ran, one, ran a snake over, which I do not try to do. Squirrels I play a game with, but coyotes, coyotes they got my, whew. anyways, but snakes I try to avoid because even a bad snake is a good snake. Yeah. Well, I hit one on the ride here and I turned around because I'm curious and it was a cottonmouth. No kid. Yeah. That's first actual true cottonmouth that I've seen in this year. No, probably a couple years. Oh, really? Yeah. Last year we had, uh, not this will, other will run over a copperhead with the mower. Well, I that found, was impressive. Found one of those on my road that got ran over, not by me, last year. But I don't see many cottonmouths. I know they're here, and I spend a lot of time on the water, especially bow fishing. How many snakes do we see bow fishing that oh. one night you went? Well, we see a ton of water snakes for sure. They're all water the snakes. The water snakes. There are cottonmouths, but I sure. we didn't see one. Eye. We actually watched one fish. Yeah, a we minnow. Did. That was the coolest yeah. thing I've ever Under, seen. Underwater, close. like Watch personal it. National Geographic in your face. Oh, yeah. They create a, it was a figure eight. Something it? like that. And yeah. it creates a whirlpool mm-hmm. effect. So when the minnow swims into their little whirlpool, they, 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 and they start spinning. And then they can't move. Right. So then the snake grabs the minnow. I was like, it's impressive. It was really neat. We watched it. Don't the actually, motor off. And don't like, actually cool. try to catch one for anybody that, like, that boat sold by. I feel like way. it's like a disclaimer thing. Like, don't actually well, try to catch to another, one. Yeah. To another, yeah. Just leave them alone. To, right. to one of my Call somebody. Let them do their thing. Not your cousin, but like a company. Come move. 
<laughs> Unless your cousin works for a company. But anyways, him. until Will has the capital to make his own brand of wine, or you can help him make his own brand of wine. I can make uh, some in the garage. Reach out, message us. You can go on back to the lodge.com, send us a message, or message us on Facebook, and we'll get you in touch with Will. Wine with Will and in the producer staff, and we'll get you squared away. And in the meantime, if you good. have somebody that you know who has wine, yeah. send us a bottle. We'll have Will. Oh, yeah. We'll have put the Will bottle on you. suggestions. Or suggestions. Yeah. I'll Cheap just, suggestions. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're like, hey, come get this bottle of. He's kind of a. Lappy do bye bye from like 1928, <laughs> and it costs more than my truck. Hang it up. I mean, you're more of a box wine guy. That's a fact. <laughs> or or Riuniti, <laughs> the five dollar gas station wine. Oh, I was like, I don't even know what that is. Is that that Moscato with a K? <laughs> <laughs> we, we just call it Mosquito. <laughs> you know, like what do you dog? call Pinot Noir then? Ooh. Do you want to know? No. All right. <laughs> I already know where that's going. You certainly do. <laughs> Anyways, on I was going to say it anyway. On wine fun events <laughs> and uh, in some seriousness. <laughs> Uh, we are looking again for a venue uh, to do our benefit banquet for the families at the Real Foot Tragedy. Reason being is our convention center is booked up solid. It's booked up for the rest of this month. It's booked up for May, and it's booked up to June. Hmm. We need a place. Um, we prefer if somebody has a even a, like a pavilion that could Shoot. suit a couple okay. hundred people sweet. would be great. Prefer- uh, just something to keep people out of the weather elements. Preferably Obion, Gibson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lake counties, um, we're fine with Carroll or even Madison or indoor or Henry. outdoor. Yeah, if it's gonna be in the summer, okay. I guess I would prefer it, as long as we indoor. got something to get out of the rain. Yeah. That, oh, okay. As long as there's like a pavilion yeah. canopy where I people gotcha. aren't under the rain, you know, we can feed people no matter what between right. sure. all of us and the amount of grills we have. Even if we had to cook it ourselves, I know a yeah, place in Jackson. It it's, you know, north side of Jackson. You're going the wrong direction. Yeah, yeah I and mean, it's just but not far. really though, because where the event happened, it's as True, far still west. to there than it is to here. Yeah. So yeah, and where the families live, it's I mean, <clears throat> oh, they're twenty maybe, minutes. Yeah, maybe maybe ten 25. minutes further than yeah. coming yeah. here. Greenfield. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. at this point, we, we just need, we need a new location. Yeah. yeah. You know, we can always fall back to the one that we have, but now we're pushing into early, right. well, late summer, early fall, and shoot before long, we'll be a year away. So right. let's. Mm-hmm. If anybody has any suggestions, know somebody we can contact, has a place, let us know. Mm-hmm. We just don't have the space here, or the chairs, or the tables, or the bathrooms. Parking would be... Mm. I'm not having park, people park all out there. No. I mean, we just have to say trucks turn right, cars Matt, turn left. <laughs> Maddie says, Boone's Farm. Ooh. You are a Boone's hey, Farm. Go. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> no. You are a You're mad a- dog, 2020, <laughs> Boone's oh Farm kind of guy. Gosh. Dude, I, there's a silhouette of you on the Boone's Farm. <laughs> well, no, there's not. No, actually, I think he was the wounded warrior guy that was over the shoulder. <laughs> you yeah, should. I am not a Not Boone's the guy over the shoulder. Guy. There ain't nobody strong. No, I break their knee. <sighs> Shots fired. Eddie, Eddie Shots Hall. Fired. Is Eddie yeah, Hall? Maybe. Like, He'd be like, eat a little less. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Whoa. Thanks, bud. Sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> I'm not a Boone's farm. That's offensive. <laughs> that's you, that's, that's offensive. what I'm going to name your farm at your house. I got it. Watch, watch them call. We want you to drink. The, no. Yes, you will. We really no. need to get that yes. picture from, what was no. the TV show where he's holding the pitchfork? You stop it. <laughs> Frankenstein? No, it was a classic painting, the farm. The farmers. Farmer and wife, and he's holding the pitchfork. Yeah. <laughs> what picture is that? What is that called? A you know picture of a farmer right? and his wife with a pitchfork. No. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I know that it looks like the guy. I know. <laughs> I know. It looked just you don't like, get to hear that. It was just. It looked just like the guy from the first Men in Black. It looks like him with the overalls and a pitchfork. Yeah. American Gothic. Oh, that's, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I bet you were. Ah, which one am I? <laughs> the one on the left. <laughs> Point taken. <laughs> Either way, like that would be a great shirt that says "Fat and Bougie." I think so. I mean, I, look. A I've, picture with you with the pitchfork. I have and a glass of wine. ideas, especially late at night. They're like, when I get bored, like, man, you know, it sounds like a great idea. And if anybody's around me, they're like, no, it's, it's not. You've been it's watching some commercials at night? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, like, I like how in Will's head, he's fine with like Fresca. Is that is that the box? Fresco, Fresca. Well, Fresca used that's to be the, a soft drink. That's the spicy water. Okay. Yeah. Oh, whatever that. It was grapefruit. I think it's grapefruit soda. Whatever that box is. Do I look like a guy that drinks grapefruit soda, Matt? He's okay with box wine, but not Boone's. 
There's some really nice box wine's definitely a little better than Boone's wine. You know what the difference oh, between box wine and bottle wine especially is? Especially nowadays. Nothing. <laughs> I don't have to recork a box. I don't think there's a cork in a wine in a, in a <laughs> no. Boone's farm. <laughs> it's just oh, probably top. not. Yeah. Probably not. We'll just. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can't talk crap about Boone. You don't have a sponsor. Yeah. And if Boone's farm's like, we really, really want you to. Ju- you could donate me a hundred bottles a month, and it totals twelve dollars. <laughs> like, I, I would, I would rather go buy some kind of. You just lost a sponsor right there, Boone's Farm. That would have been a great opportunity. To vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, man. At least you're staying true to yourself. Absolutely. You yet to buy your own bottle of wine for an episode right. of Wild Will? As long as I could steal them from your wife, yeah. we're good. So do you guess, guess what? I'm stocking in the house now for you. Boone's Farm. Yep. Guess who's yep. not going to drink it? Guess who's not, not you? <laughs> guess who's not going to show up to darts afterwards because he's got a hangover and a headache. Oh, yeah, no, that, guess who will that, show up and wax again? That, that stopped him before. He could barely yeah. put two feet in front of each other. No, he, ended he up still getting, took third. He got third in the dart tournament. <laughs> As a butthole. Like, <laughs> I, got, I got there before he did, and I warned everybody oh. that wine with Will was on his way, and they didn't understand. And then when he showed up, they understood. And were definitely expecting me to just be out pretty quick. Your wife apologized to people for you. I mean, race hell, praise Dale. Like, <laughs> we came to win. Oh, you, you know better I mean? put Lobo's comment on the screen. Dude. Says Matt looks like white sleeve, <laughs> white Steve Urkel. I love it. That can go on the screen. Lobo, I'm going to say your real name. Hide behind that fake name. <laughs> I wish I didn't love him as much as I did. He's too cool. You can't do that to him. Boone's Farm. I hate you. You're going back to that? We were moving on. Yeah, I can't. We diverted the, the fun to Matt, and then you... See, he's asking for this punishment. <clears throat> no. Yeah. It's Boone's. I'll whirlpool a bottle of wounds. I bet you... Of what? Boons. You're not even drinking. <laughs> Boone's. <laughs> well, get yourself some Boone's Farm. You know, a lot of you guys have asked, you know... How do we get outdoors, getting the kids outdoors? Well, there's a good time coming up right now. Uh, I would say, what, in the next two weeks really peaks mid-April. Yeah. But even right now, I've, I've caught them now this time of year, oh, even north. But bluegill fishing, depending on where you're at, apparently some of these southerners like the term brim, but that's a whole other thing. So I've been on that already on the show. You bet on what? I, no, I hammered that, boot, that oh, yeah, you when did. we were in the radio station. Yeah. yeah, that was last year. But anyways, bluegill season's coming up. Actually, you can get out now, but it'll be better probably about 1st of April, be my guess. No, it is April. No, it, what am I Ma- talking Mother's about? Day weekend is usually mid-April. Yeah. So even now, I keep thinking it's March for some reason. It's, it's not. not. <laughs> Lord have mercy. They have these things. It's a, it's a square, but it's got all these other squares on it. And they have <laughs> numbers. <laughs> yeah, those. And they've been around a long time. Yeah. Lobo like. called you at one name. He called you a dirty whore. Yeah, that's know. fine. Oof. May have been you. I don't know. Could have been me. Who knows? But anyways. Now, the rule of thumb, I don't care where you are in America. When when the lilacs bloom. Uh, that's blue, a good one. But it's still the, the same time. Same time of year. Yeah. But when the lilac, I mean, if you have a really cold spring, mm-hmm. the lilacs won't bloom until later. But that's sort of a rule of thumb. Yeah. Um, they haven't quite yet. Dogwoods have. They're looking mighty pretty right now. <laughs> And my eyes can't see them anymore because they're swollen. Cut <laughs> and the cherry blossoms. <laughs> the other day when I was out digging holes in the yard, because that's the best I'm like, I got that tractor out there, and I don't know that I helped, but I made holes <laughs> and I made a mess. Uh, but That's what they're for. When I came into the house, I was outside for maybe six hours. My eyes were almost swollen shut. I texted a picture to my wife, and she said, take something. The only allergy medicine I could find in the house was children's. Which didn't do sense. didn't do the math. Didn't do. I just bubbled it a few times. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Somebody was sleeping. Drink response. And then I went fishing that night, and I stopped at the gas station, bought some, and now I actually have some pills. But it's bad right now. I washed my truck this oh, morning. Every day. This it's morning covered. I washed it. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. I just don't wash it. I swear to you, every single year that I your I've, your truck is the color of pollen once it's dried out. Correct. I I've lived you in Tennessee for. 10, 11 years now, and every year I say the same thing. This was way worse than last year. Yeah. And it's not. You're just getting old. Mm-hmm. It's just, God, I can't. 
you brought yourself into that one. Yeah. I was going, oh, God. <laughs> that would be El Terrible. But That's anyways, get the get out there. Get a little Zebco spinning rock. Just get them out there. You, you, can, you can go to Walmart and get a $10, $15 little pole. Ready to if go. If you want to get them started. Because you don't know. They might take it up for a few days and then be like, yeah, this ain't for me. I almost said something else. Mm. But just get them out there. You you can use little worms. You can use crickets. You can use. I mean, hell, we've used hot dogs and it's, cut it up it's before. The, <laughs> it's the easiest time of year to fish, mm. even for be, especially for beginners, because you're setting your float bobber. I don't care wherever you are in the United States, whatever you call it, your bobber. You're setting at a very, very, very short depth, right. yep. inches sometimes, which is easier to cast. Mm -hmm. yep. You get hung up on stuff less because you're more accurate. You're, what you're throwing is Ooh. a lot smaller of a... I don't know. I saw you fish. You talk a lot of shit. Say what you want. <laughs> you caught but a lot of trees. How many times were we sitting on the beds and you got hung up and I was like, I'm sorry, you're, I'm fishing this bed out till I go get you. About the same as you. Okay. We'll keep count next time. That's fine. <laughs> that, that's fine. That, I would put a lot of money on I that. Smell it wasn't a even, oh, I will definitely put money on this. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> I smell a competition. Absolutely. Who's your money on? Televised. I'm the I'm the videographer. Who's your money on? I can't. I Nick, can't who's your money on? <laughs> I don't want to be drug into this. I really don't. Who's your I, money on? My, my, <laughs> well, it's not even. Why? What? I actually my, my fly rod is Sitting coming down by. with me after this weekend. I'm finally bringing my ultralight fly rod back oh, down. Nice. And I promise you, I get hung up catfish. less than Patrick with my fly rod. Well, you're going to be able to really set the length on that then. So that's pretty easy. Set the length on, on the fly rod. Man. Have you ever I cast a fly <laughs> rod? You're just stripping. <laughs> yeah. But you can still say, I'm just going to stay back here. You can you can stop it from going too far per before you even cast. Okay. All right. The new rule. Like because you know you got to be up shallow to catch those fish. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a combination of how many fish you catch. Are we counting the And weeds? every time you hook. You're hung up. Okay. It's all hung up. The boat has to go get you. And if you break His off. His little ass likes to go fish the tall grass. And, and you're, if your line breaks off because <laughs> you didn't want to move the boat to go get it, that counts too. Every time you get hung up, you lose five fish. Ooh. Five fish? On the total. You'd be negative. We caught 60 last time total. We did. Okay, well you got hung up like 10 times. So that's 50 right there. Okay. So that's not negative. <laughs> Talk's a big game because nobody else was there. <laughs> I'll video Was it, it Ninnis with us? Yeah, call him. I'll text him. Which Ninnis? Well, he's working right now, isn't he? Yeah, Billy's working. Alan. Might not be. <laughs> I'll text him. How many times? Don't forget to follow us on in Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Tim Mac. At Nothing really goes on Back Instagram, to the right? Lodge. I think, no, I think we should just start a series of competitions. Because we all talk. Smack. I'm not going to use a bad word like Well, we you. definitely need to have video. Right. So if you're volunteering, thank you. That was very nice of you. Absolutely. Half of it's going to be ignorant. Stuff, <laughs> but the best thing about it is I don't care. And it, I'm doing it. So <laughs> You'll be drinking box wine, holding the camera. 100%. But not operating a boat because you can get a buoy. Yep. Maybe we should just do this live on Facebook. Multiple times. I think we should just six hours. Literally. No, 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 no. Just, and nobody's seeing my spots. And, right. and you are you are not going to go Facebook Live in that spot. Compilation, compilation. I don't think anybody would know that spot. You can't go Facebook Live from that spot. Oh, There's that's a true. zero There's no percent chance. Right. So yeah, we video true. it, put it together, whatever. And I think, hey, like once, you know, however often. Who gets like, to do the editing? When we get in these little. Uh, That'll be me. He does, and that's where he'll win. That'll be me. <laughs> like I want to do that. There you go. He can do I that. I want to do that. Like every every time we argue on here, I think we should just take it to a competition. I'm down. Dude, we could totally the, the we could totally time, film this. The last Absolutely. time I made a video of Matt and I fishing, it usually involves him peeing off the boat. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. And no, everybody pees off sort of the boat. Or, He's just the I only idiot gonna... that records it every time you pull your out of your pants. When did I ever piss off the boat? <laughs> <laughs> when did, you just prefer when did, your pants? When did anybody we were fishing with ever piss off the boat besides you? You have a what is that little that my buddy Alex does? Look, I, I, I he didn't pee that night. I bet he did. I don't remember You're being just interested in me. I never seen Chase piss off the boat. Never seen Alex piss off the boat. I never pissed off the boat. Look, I'll be honest. I'm not going six hours without I, peeing. I'm never guilty seen of Will that. Pee off the boat. I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty of it. I, I'll well, say that. Well, you're going to be subject to blooper reels. 
It is what it is. Well, I'll be the guy that's I'll turn around. I'll, I'll be like a B-roll I cam. I do. You know. <laughs> Patrick, Save, you don't saves turn those. around. Patrick, saves those. Patrick has at minimum six videos of me playing. I do not need child porn on my phone. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. But yet you still shoot it. That jump. <laughs> you're, it's, you're behind. People just think it's a five-foot-tall kid. That escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> this is... It's getting further from justification. And <laughs> you may get a sponsor we don't like, like one of those you know, alphabet soup guys. <laughs> Will, Will was being nice. He said you only got caught up a few. What about you? What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we, should, we should start a full competition series. Okay. I'm down. I mean, people, He's the only people one can the suggest stuff. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be... You know, boat stuff or whatever. But, I mean, not just fishing. Like, if somebody has an idea for a competition, run it. I mean, Why he not? wouldn't eat the funky food. So, I'm, yeah, I'm not doing that one. That's lame. But He's out when it comes really to spiders. a competition, though. That's just no, who but can it just, gut it. I mean, yeah. Dude, my stomach is still I'll, tore up. I'll tell that. you. Oh, okay. Was. I'll tell you one thing Matt's really, really, really good at. And, uh, and no joke. Oh. Man, why you got to go there? I didn't. He can clean fish like nobody I've ever seen. I and I mean that. that as a compliment. You can fly. When we caught those 60 bluegill last year, you had them all done. Now, I helped a little bit, but I've you caught, had them I've all done. a lot of fish, and I've under an a hour. lot of fish. Under an hour. <clears throat> oh, oh wow. That is impressive. I, yeah. I mean, skinned them, cleaned them, flayed them, rinsed them, done. I mean, Grant, we started to Lord clean up. have mercy. But one hour, oh, he was yeah. done. I think that's... I, 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 I don't want to say that that knife. isn't true, but I feel like an hour is too long. I well, yeah, I was think probably it's a less minute. than I don't think it's a minute had, of fish. We had delays of like setting crap up, moving the hose. Yeah. You know, then we had the cutting board yeah. issue where we were trying to move them between two boards. I'll run it. Panfish. Pan he can fish, fly I'll, through fish. I'll, I'll run it. I'd put money on him up against most people, unless they're professional most fish outdoor, Yeah, most outdoorsmen. <laughs> not, I, not. There was a place in Ohio we used to take uh, yellow perch. Mm-hmm. Uh, There's a place, it, it's closed now unless somebody bought it, but it was up on Hot Waters. In Lorraine. So anybody who's fished Lake Erie knows exactly the place I'm talking about. And you can walk in there. And I want to say it used to be like 75 cents or 50 cents a pound. And you just give them your cooler. You come back 15 minutes later and it's all bagged and ready to go. And these people flew. It was kind of like McDonald's when you have the assembly line for food. Right. So the first person makes the first couple cuts, slides it to the second person, second person does this. And then they run them through the descaler. The last person rinses them. I mean, it's like... Literally two if, minutes if to it's clean anything like fish. McDonald's. I'm out. <laughs> you eat <laughs> McDonald's more than anybody. No, not anymore. I've seen the inside since, of your truck since yeah, when? I yesterday? Yeah. No, I had it yesterday. But that's <laughs> <laughs> Guess who messed up my order? McDonald's. That's correct. I think they breaded the nuggets in styrofoam. Maybe I don't know. They tasted You're not and supposed smelled to eat weird. The box, Will. Right? No, the box had more flavor. <laughs> Like, they weren't greasy, that's for sure. I mean, they were cooked, but like not well. Well, anyways, <laughs> getting back to the fishing part. If you want to get your kids out, any suggestions, Matt? Simple rod, yeah. wait number one. Wait hook. until your lilacs bloom, bloom, and then just a small hook. Honestly, if you can find ice fishing jigs, that's what I yeah. that's what I would use. Just find some. You can buy them on Amazon. Just type in ice fishing jigs. Yeah, they don't sell them here. Panfish ice fishing jigs, and get those. Tie it to like four pound test max. Yeah, have fun with it. Just some real light, light, light. What's well, the gear. cheapest and easiest thing to a get in? Cheap clip on mm-hmm. bobber and then buy wax worms or heck, Power Bait. And we're not sponsored by them, so there's a free shout out. Power Bait makes those little mm-hmm. glass tubes that have the little, they look like little marshmallows. Mm-hmm. And just hook one of those on there. Cast as shallow as you can get and. Buy yourself a cheap pair of polarized sunglasses. You can buy them for $10 mm-hmm. at Walmart. And I don't care if you're standing on the bank or if you're in a boat or on a pier. You'll see them. You can see the beds. You'll see the whatever color the ground may be there, and you'll see a little circle about the size of a dark. maybe about lighter. Maybe a little lighter. Because clearing off the old. It's the new oh, one. yeah. A little lighter, and there'll just be a circle maybe 8 to 10 inches in diameter. Just if you can see, you'll see a whole bunch. If you see one, it looks probably, like a honeycomb probably, of basketballs. Probably a rock. But if you see a whole bunch of them, those are bluegill beds, especially when the lilacs are blooming. It's around that time of year, Mother's Day for us in the middle band of the country, mm-hmm. and the best. It's just band. it's it's easy, it's fun. They eat good, and if you don't want to eat them, you don't have to. Some of them get really small, 
and it's not worth cleaning. And buy you if you, if you got a little extra money, make sure you buy a fishing license, ultralight. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, ultralight four pound test. Turn that turn that drag down to like where a eighth ounce eight ounce fish can really put up a fight. Mm-hmm. Man, you just have fun. It's fun, fun. especially as a little kid. Like you you could have hooked Moby Dick. I mean, right? you just it's. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's, well, it's fun. And um, Walmart, I've I've seen them at some of the stores now. It's not in the normal, you know, the row of fishing rods. Mm-hmm. They're in those cardboard oh, displays. Yeah. They got a full set. They have ultralights. Um, I think it was Abu Garcia was the one I seen. The brand that's been floating around. They're only like thirty nine, forty nine bucks. Comes with the kit for an ultralight. No, no, just just the ultralight <laughs> rod and reel. They have a kit. It's yeah, nineteen ninety seven panfish kit. Yeah, yep. It's got is a it little ultralight, or is it just great light? for a nah, kid? It's probably a light, not probably an ultralight. Probably light. <clears throat> but it'll be. A, it'll These be are a, ultralights because that's where I got that Abu Garcia that I have. It'll be just like a push button style, whether yeah. it's whether it's a Zebco or whatever it is. Kids, oh yeah, fine. this wasn't push button. And and it'll come with this little plastic yeah. tackle box, mm-hmm. and it'll have hooks. Jigs, got a and couple it'll little paint couple weights little, and everything. Worms, yeah. like you know, it's a plastics. great family time. Not oh, even yeah. for kids. Matt and I still love it. I mean, it's it's fun for the whole family. Get out, pack a little lunch, have a picnic, go outside, do some fishing. You will thank us for this. Trust me, it, it's so much fun. It's because I mean, when you think about all the fish that we've caught in our lives, wow. like the ones that are like the you know the most meat for the buck and the work you put into it. Bluegill are just like it's that's a confidence fun. booster. Like it really gets you into it. Well, if you go, if you have bluegill fish, it's not like you know you go on tournament bass fish and you're real upset you only caught two fish or whatever mm-hmm. it is. I mean, you're going to catch fish. I mean, you if should. you catch if you catch a couple, I mean, unless you're just in a bad spot, I mean, it's not like you have to sit there for hours waiting. Yeah, on don't fish in the in. ditch in your backyard. Like <laughs> go somewhere. And again, too, you know, check on your state. Each state has different laws when it comes to fishing. Some states, kids need fishing licenses. Other states, they're good till they're 12 or 13. You know, you just got to look. But make sure everybody has their fishing license. Yeah. Do it the right way. Make sure you know your fish ID. Look up on Google yeah. what a bluegill mm-hmm. or a shell cracker, a red ear, or fish, any yeah. of those. And those just screenshot fish it look and keep like. it on your phone in case you don't have. What's service. really nice about these bluegill species is I've fished all over these the U.S. and I have never ever ever seen a length requirement Mm-mm. on a bluegill. There are on crappie, yeah, but yeah. I have never seen a I've length requirement on, on a bluegill. So I don't think I have. Either. I've seen them on yellow perch. Yeah. I've seen them on crappie. I've seen, but I've never seen one on bluegill. So no. size doesn't. Matter for what oh, you're gonna throw in a cooler. God. I knew that was coming. <laughs> he he uses that line a lot. Um, you know what though? We need to go yellow. We need to go do some yellow perch. Yeah, it's just not I'm here. Craving it. Yeah, Beach but Lake. if we have to make yeah, our trip not, in the next week or two, not the same. No, but I mean, if, if it's you the wanna, same fish. If you want to go and if we got to make our trip that we talked about north. I, I mean, mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch a mess of them in July when I'm up there. I've never I've oh, never fished. Oh, I did no. fish once. In southern Ohio, I went up to see my brother. There's no yellow perch there. I don't. I, we were just <laughs> catching stuff, you know what I mean? It didn't, but that's, I mean, that's it, I, other than that, I've never fished north. Of yellow perch are easy too, and, and it's if a, you know what fish. you're doing, yeah, you you go up like Lake Erie. I mean, that's what I grew up on. So mm-hmm. you can take the boat just even a mile offshore, just a mile. The fact that you can go a mile offshore is wild to me. Why? Because where are you going to do that here? He oh, just said here. that he's never fished in the Great Lakes. Lakes. Yeah, I got you. Right. I mean, I yeah, fish like the ocean, <laughs> but that's different. It's the ocean. You and expect we, that. We'll get into walleye some other time because that's a little more tricky, and there's different styles to catch in them. But for the panfish, for yellow perch, you just put a put a spreader on the end of your line, drop it to the bottom. We use minnows. Just get live minnows. Small hooks, same as for bluegill. Drop it to the bottom. Give it a one or two little reels, and just wait. And you'll catch two at a time. I mean, literally, you can catch two at a time. See, and I think that's very, that's very specific just to the Great Lakes, though. Yeah. Because if you go there, to, like, yeah. any of your big inland lakes that are big yellow fish, mm-hmm. le- yellow, yellow perch yellow lakes, perch. you're fishing them just like you're fishing crappie or bluegill. Mm-hmm. You're just okay. float. Just throwing a float out there. Yep. But, like, we fish Lake Michigan. Well, somebody, t- somebody take layer. me fishing up north. Oh, we wanna. definitely should go. Yes, you I, do. I, was, I got a friend that has a charter yeah, up there. We can go. God. I want to do an ice fishing trip. That's what I want to do. I don't like chartering for walleye, though, because it's just no fun. I mean, I'll literally, I've never in. done it. I don't know. It, go ice fishing. I'm I did it because I had no other anything, option. The only, the only charter I've ever been on was on the ocean. That was it. I, and I've never done that. 
So I've never done the, a charter for anything. Sounds well, like I had charter internet. Charter for walleye. I do have charter internet. Yeah, you get on the boat, yeah. you sit there, you eat, Shameless you drink, plug. you look pretty. You're good at that, except That's for the pretty fact. part. No, you said and then, it. it's already said. Uh, when when a fish comes hey, on, Nick, cut line, that out. When they when they <laughs> grab the line, out. it pops off. They clear it, and then you just reel in the fish. Oh, so that's the all you do. Yeah, just fun, fun for part. you, but that's not fun to me. It's still the fun part. Yeah, it's not it's the whole the exciting thing, part. But that's yeah. the that's the fun part. Does anybody want to take a vacation? Not with you, <laughs> and not if you're going to sit like that with them shorts yeah, on. God I know. Me. And you're and I'm your doing this flippers. just for you guys. I promise. I'm like, glad there's a desk just there. for you. Me too. Are you <laughs> just wearing pants right now? Yes. No, I'm not. <laughs> He said, oh, I, work best I, I think you should nude. put the camera on you right now so everybody knows what he the did. heck we're doing with. I watched well, it. you know, uh, Facebook Live camera's on me right now, and they can't see waist down. Thank God. Whew. This is like a... That's where he's going to be like. Rough. Yeah, he's going to be like that that uh, person that got fired Look. from... Because uh, the Zoom meeting, and they just weren't <laughs> yeah. wearing pants. Yeah. I'll tell you something. The waist down, dangerous right now. For who? Everyone. Take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Get that looked at. <laughs> you got indoor plumbing and everything. Right? Penicillin, Nick. <laughs> God, penicillin. That's all you need. Yeah. Look, peanut right. butter shot, buddy. I was oh, just getting uncomfortable stop. sitting in this uh, not so great chair. You're making <laughs> me uncomfortable sitting in this decent chair. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it weird how this studio went from cold to we um, have, hot? We have it's a, a chair warm. like that. Where is it at? In, in, yeah, that's a great, oh, your daughter's. That is a great I'm question. Gonna, I may wear a crop top next time. It's awfully warm. I'd like it. I know. He'll show up in a midriff if you do that. I don't know what that is. I mean, either you old. I don't either. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'd kind of like to. I'm, I'm kind of curious as to what that is. Now. Too far. <laughs> I mean, what does it sound like? He saved him from Sounded when he was out. Patricia. <laughs> say, say it again. Midriff. Mi- oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I thought the midriff was a section of the body. I didn't know it was a type right. of clothes. Off here. Yeah, but I think that's exposing your midriff. It's not a type of clothes. Not that I've ever heard. So like a, cro- the- like a crop always, top. That's what we always referred it to. I don't know. In I'm- Ohio. Yeah, we're freaking weird. <laughs> yeah. Get him some cheese. It could very well be a style of clothes. Cheese. I just I've always heard it referred to as part of the. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't actually know what a crop top is, but it's. I think it's one of the yes booby shirts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Did you have something you to add? Correct. I'll. Huh. Wow. You don't. No, I was just gonna say it's a shirt that exposes the belly. You know, that's all. It does say that urban vocabulary uses it as a patch. But my, gotcha. My patch but pocket the Cambridge and a crop English top. dictionary is the part of the human body. Mm. They didn't teach us that in uh, anatomy. You learn in something Ohio. new every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know they highly. This is your belly. You went okay. That's a fact, babies, come out of here. They told you, you that, huh? They told you that. I mean, maybe. Usually, babies come out of the other part of the body. Not Maybe. in a C-section. Where were they before that? Yeah. What about a C-section? I'm pretty Way sure they didn't sensitive. do that. Not everybody has children naturally. Ago. They also Gosh. they don't do the the stork thing. The the stork carries a baby in Tennessee. It's the the buzzard. turkey vulture. <laughs> 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 the buzzard just drops you off. He didn't like how you tasted. So there you go. <laughs> tasted like Boone's Farm. <laughs> well, I gross. <laughs> I'd be like, you can have that one back. <laughs> I did. I was driving to town a couple days ago, and Ray was in the truck with me, and I see a buzzard. Buzzards all over, right? You see them everywhere. I look up, big bird, buzzard, okay, whatever. Keep driving. I look again, eagle. Mm. I was like, oh, you don't see them super often here. Surprised you didn't have a flashback. Have a real foot. So <laughs> I, yeah, but see, I, that was like the third time that event's happened to me. Like I'm, I'm used to seeing a million assists, but I don't. I could probably count on one hand how many eagles I've seen at my house. Yeah. You know the eagle did take his duck, but it would have been funny if the eagle tried to take Matt. That would have been a better story, I think. No, not for me. <laughs> I could see that happening. Just fist fighting, like get off me. They, they're big. He's like twenty feet. Yeah, off the they're ground. not. They're not small. It's a big critter. Mm-hmm. So my my thing is, I don't know if y'all have noticed. If if somebody asks me a question and I don't feel like answering, I yell something just unrelated. You know. So do I. The number eleven is generally my my go to. Purple is mine too. I don't I don't I, know what my mine is eleven, but with a bird, 
I only know I, I I can I can name a bunch of different birds. When it comes to telling you what it, something is that's hundreds of feet up in the air, I don't know. I say it's a pelican. <laughs> we do have a lot of those. Yeah, right my wife now. gets mad because you know Sav's three. Wasn't that she's your... like, Daddy? What is that pelican baby? Wasn't that your pose on Wine with Will was farting pelican? Is that flamingo? What it was? Wasn't it Flo- flamingo? I think it was flamingo. Yeah, I, oh. it's been a long time since I did karate, <laughs> but. Uh, Guess what I saw this morning? Drop right off at school, went to the gym on my way home. I saw something that me and you talked about not long ago that Tennessee used to, West Tennessee used to have a ton of, but you don't see them anymore. Gobble gobbles. Very close. Same, same, like, sort of critter. Pheasant. Much smaller. Pheasant? Nope. Smaller. Duvet? Smaller. Mice. Cornish hen. About, ooh, you are close. (laughs) Grouse? Close. Come on. You should be able to get it at this point. I'm trying to think of what all we've talked about. Cubby. So, where uh, were you? Right there off, on in between my wife's grandparents' house and my house. Where that little trail is. Are you, you saying you saw Where one? you parked, where I met you yeah. to show you where to go yeah. walk. Right there at that intersection was a cubby of quail. Hmm. There used to be, this used to be a really big quail. Oh, smash. Our, Hope's, grandfa- Hope's grandfather's yeah. age and... Your grandfather's yeah. age, they were quail hunters. Hmm. There was Dude, quail when I everywhere. was a kid. We used to go to this place called Fat City, and I mean, you just you could dove hunt, I guess, but it was it was quail. Like my yep. dad, he never really deer hunted much because quail I mean, it was and fox and quail. Not as much, <clears throat> not as much fox with him. But Granddaddy always ran yeah. field trials. Oh, you're talking about your stuff. dad? My dad, yeah. yeah, it was always yeah, no. migratory birds and like it, quail <clears throat> and pheasant hunting was fun. And then I don't, by the time I really probably got to high school where I could actually just go out and do stuff on my own like that, I mean, there wasn't even, there wasn't even anything to hunt much. But when we used to go deer hunting, you know, or just walk in the fields and stuff like that, one of my favorite things to do was, you know, the Bob Whites would get to Mm -hmm. jabbering at you and you'd try to, you know, mimic them and stuff. And they, it was the coolest thing. And now I want to show, you know, my daughter that, and they're just they're, they're like seven. Yeah. I know that people. I know old timers. They attribute the heightening of our coyote population to the decline of oh, the that quail. Makes sense. Well, we're working on that. Which, which could <laughs> every one, chance one, one speed get. bump at a time. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I've only seen. I've, I've been deer hunting and hunting Tennessee now for 11, 12 yeah. years, and I have only ever seen one cubby before this. And I got. I actually have a video mm-hmm. that I took of my GoPro when I was bow hunting one day, yeah. and a whole cubby walked underneath me. I have not seen another quail since, and I saw them scurry across the road as I was coming around yeah. the corner, and I, I did a, I, what the heck was that? That's pretty cool, though. And then as soon as I got up to them, they picked up, <clears throat> mm-hmm. and I knew immediately what they were at that point, but you just don't see them. Is there even hunting on the books for them here now? There, there's still... Is there? Yeah, there's still regulations, because there's still some places that are yeah, controlled okay. hunts. Um, especially, I figured, by you. I mean, that's You got no. the WMA right... Literally up from you. I yeah, know that but... my wife's best friend, yeah. her dad, uh, did a CRP field back mm-hmm. behind his house. But the whatever type of CRP or whatever program he was enrolled in right. was specifically for quail habitat. It's and I know, hard. And I know that he said that he had two cubbies living on him. Mm-hmm. He doesn't live there anymore. But um, that, and that isn't too far from me. No. But I, there I are more people raising domestic. I mean, sure. I, was, I would agree. Yeah. You know, because... I mean, quail meat is fantastic. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Yep. I prefer it over dove. I prefer it over duck. Yeah. We just oh, wrap. I do over duck. Yeah, I agree. absolutely. Um, I mean, I like I like dove breast, but quail. It's it's one of those things. It was just a yeah. standard. Now it's just wrap it in bacon. Where are they? At quail is quail is one of the Delicious, few. Yeah. Or like you breast it out, I'll just eat it mm-hmm. like it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, dove. I, I love dove breast, but. I think I've just gotten so used to everybody I wrapping agree. everything in bacon. Yeah. Bacon holiday. Not against it. Love it. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, quails to the point that, you know, the last few quail that I've eaten that, you know, were hunted, I just wanted the quail. Because, oh, yeah, right. <clears throat> I mean, domestic quail just tastes different. You've got so many different kinds now that people yeah. are raising. Uh, there's a guy in Beach Bluff, just kind of east of Jackson, that raises them, and he's got thousands. Yeah. But <laughs> you can't just release things. Right. You know, um, like rabbits, you're probably not supposed to do that either, but... You do. Yeah. I like Unintentionally. Looking. Yeah, no, 100% intentionally. <laughs> they're not, you know, they're not wild, but they, li- they live in my yard, and 
there were there are so few animals wild animals out by us <laughs> we don't have a coyote problem which is weird yeah because a weird. few miles away at the old play, you know where at the hunting land they're hundreds everywhere thousands. i mean they're just as high as animal i mean i can hear is, them from my just, house at night oh it's wild i mean you that's can, how you loud can imagine they're. what i hear at my house yeah. at night yeah we're, you hear we're like my wife's kids screaming in the woods and stuff she Have lives that. just <laughs> outside of like just outside of medina yeah. kind of and we were sitting outside you know the girls were playing and stuff like that and you heard them come up i mean you like maybe 100 yards away like they were so close you didn't even get the echo like it was just as if your dog right. was in the backyard just getting right. after it and i was like they're close she said yeah they do that all the time I'm like nobody i mean it's it's on uh, you, huntable land but I mean, it's crazy. Like that lady in McKenzie who, who was like, please, somebody come get this. They weren't a fan of firearms, yep. and that was fine. They had tried everything that they could to to do everything as humanely as possible and relocate. But the problem is you're relocating them. You're just giving somebody else yep. your problem. Yep. Mm-hmm. And if you relocate them to an area that doesn't have a lot of <clears> – doesn't have a very high animal population, well, then they're going to go for the domestic animals. Yep. So – I will say, sucks to being, suck, being a transplant here in West Tennessee, hunting, it can be difficult finding mm-hmm. land. Yes. Yeah. Um, the one thing I have never had issue finding land for is coyote hunting. Absolutely. Everybody, as long mm-hmm. as you stay off of deer season and you stay off of turkey season, you stay off of those two, yeah. which is good because that's not the best well, time. The best time is January, right. February, 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 March. And August are your two yep. peak months for coyote. And, and just, I mean... You don't have any. You don't have other seasons there that you're right. worrying about. So right. finding coyote land has never been the problem. No. Finding somebody to go with me had been the problem. Sure. So do we have coyote land? Because nobody's yes. told me about it. Uh, Maybe that was on purpose. Been to it. There's plenty of coyote. Oh, I didn't land. know that. Well, so here's the thing, and that's one of those things. You know, coyotes. You know, it's not like deer hunting where you know they all come in the same way. You know, this. And oh that, yeah, they're where, quick and all over the damn place. So safety is an issue. Because a lot of, I mean, there's so many coyotes in, I mean, we're in a rural area, but that come into these towns and stuff, <clears throat> that it, I mean, safety really becomes an issue. Mm-hmm. Um, but kids. if you, if you stop them out here, you kind of keep them from migrating in towards the towns. But yeah, I mean, I, Tony was telling a story last night and I corroborated this. I mean, it happened. She and her dad were going to look at the kind of the back 40 of his property. It was a long track. And uh, she was out there by herself because he had he had gone back. And you've met her; she's stubborn. Uh, she didn't want to go back with him, Uh-oh. so she was kind of sitting there looking at the stars and stuff, and heard something. And there's four or five coyotes that were advancing on her. You know whether whether they were actually trying to get her right. or not. You know she struck make, out towards the house. Don't make an attempt. Trust me. And her me. dad heard her hollering, and it wasn't until they kind of met, and he he grabbed a thirty thirty when he was coming back that they scattered i mean mm-hmm. they they followed her probably half a mile oh, they'll pack up just full here. that she was in full sprint i don't know if they were they wouldn't have been you mm-hmm. know so i mean they're they're a real issue yeah. especially for little kids and stuff the like fir- that the first time i ever uh coon hunted in tennessee here mm-hmm. with my wife's grandfather we hunted <clears throat> really close to the house and we treat a couple coons you only shoot one out sort of no. the sportsman's way right and shot one out and then I tied a stick to its back leg, and that's mm-hmm. I just made a little carry yeah. carry handle, and I'm toting it out of the woods. And we have a, probably 600 yards through thick woods, mm-hmm. and then probably 1,200 yards through cut farm fields right. gets back to the truck. And the whole you know we got coon lamp, or headlamps on, mm-hmm. and the whole time that we're walking, me and Papa are just talking and talking, and well, I'm yelling, he's talking, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that makes sense if you know him. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, what? <laughs> I keep hearing something behind us. I keep looking back, don't see nothing. Mm-hmm. Look back, don't see nothing. We walk, you know, 15, 20 more yards. I turn around. Nothing. Can't see nothing. Mm-hmm. We hit the farm field, walk halfway across, this far, across the farm field, and it was cut corn right. field. So some of the, you know, whatever the leafy part of the stalk is, mm-hmm. it, you know, making noise. We call I, them leaves. I hear something behind me, and I turn around, two coyotes are following yeah. me. Now, they never got close. Right. No. I mean, they're hesitant. I'm, I'm they're, certain that that's what yeah. followed us all the way out of the woods. They, they get, wait they get brave, but it doesn't take much to scare them off. No, it doesn't. I, I mean, literally. No. That, I told the story. I don't think you were here with us yet, but I told the story where they, they packed me up front and back Oh yeah. on the trail. About shit my pants. Sure. Pulled out my pistol, fired one round, didn't hit anything. <laughs> it was like dust just 
scattering. I, I hate coyotes. I, I don't know. I think they'll definitely take domestic pets. Know that for sure. a fact. Sure. When's the last time there's been a confirmed attack on a human? Well, and that's not by a not rabid one. It would have to be a, small, right. a small human. And who's going to let their four year old go But it is in still, it is still more, scary. They're right. more skittish than black bears. And black bears are actually yeah. skittish. Coyotes well, the, will just. The problem with coyotes is, is are you talking about them packing out? Mm-hmm. You know, they will. They get brave. The the most danger probably is this this kind of thing that we live in where you know everybody is is and this is not to downplay the people who really do good and genuine things for animal populations, but they don't understand that a wild animal is a wild animal, mm-hmm. and if you've got you know a couple of coyote pups in one area, yep. they're not there by accident. Right, you go messing with mama's babies. Ever, anything's liable. That's yeah. right, and that's the thing. It's it's not like messing with, you know, mama dog's pups that's, you know, in your garage or your backyard. Yep. I mean, they're wild animals, and people are like, oh, it's so cute. I want it. That's mama left them. Hey, go home. Right. Go yep. away from it. I mean, that would be your best bet because, I mean, bottom line, just don't pick wild stuff up. And I'm not a very good example of this, but – um, you also have a little education behind you, also, right? Well, and I'm pretty good at little not, education. I'm Slow pretty down, good Sally. at not getting bitten by things. <laughs> um, but even, I mean, that goes for anything, possums and everything. Some stuff looks cute when it's little, but he used to watch Safari Jam. I think it was. Uh, it's the Turtle Man. Kratz, <laughs> Kratz, <laughs> Kratz creatures. I used to watch the OG Zabumafu. Did you just say Turtle Man? Turtle Man. So we know a Turtle Man. But we're not going to talk about him on this show. That's what he calls himself. Is Turtle oh. Man. Oh, I don't know about that one. This guy was on TV. He originated I know the who Turtle e, Man is. Right? Yeah. So, uh, no, but Zabumafu, my daughter watches the Wild Kratz or yeah. whatever. and uh, It's the Kratz creature's kids. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. what? Yeah. I was like, what happened to Zabumafu? Well, it's like Steve Irwin's son's got his own show now. Which yeah, is the cool. Daughter too. I think the daughter is. Uh, yeah, maybe it's their. Maybe it's their baby show. or something. I don't know. I keep up with them. But like no, that was my childhood. Nobody you know? is going to be better than Steve. Nobody. Is. <laughs> you <laughs> just can't. And, and what I hate is when when he got flack <laughs> for Grylls doing all like, these things. But Bear Grylls is a joke. No, I said it's that level of ret- like stupidness. Like, yeah. Oh, let's touch it. <laughs> yeah, but the but thing he was, was, you talk about education. Like, yeah, you know, he was. He knew his stuff. It was one of those things. It was. It was terrible. What happened? Hotel every night. Oh, absolutely. But. That was for TV. I mean, Steve was doing this down under, you know, down under. for for all this <laughs> shrimp on the bar bag. Yeah, all this I think all it's this time. Off. Let's touch it. <laughs> Crikey! The thing was, you know, he never, you know, that we saw anyway, and you never know what happens behind closed doors and whatnot. But he never, yeah. I mean, he didn't mistreat the animals. You no, got people no, now that want to want to keep it and you know, I can't bring imagine he did inside. in today's cancel culture if he had. Oh, a, he would he would be canceled. It. We'd know about it. Right, Actually, he'd and he would have been canceled. Anyways. Because people people give him flack for not leaving animals alone or something. That's fair, but you know, like people from New York City, you know, the, different things. Mm-hmm. Like they might not know about whitetail hunting. They might not know about quail. I'd argue with him messing with that one animal. The amount of education that was pushed out out of that one episode right. far outweighed right. that yeah. one. Not, I mean, just on average experience for that critter because that critter's fine. Right. Right, because he let it go. Yep. You know, they have rehabilitated animals and stuff like that, and it, you use things as a teaching tool. Yep. Same way with the fishing and mm-hmm. stuff. You don't have to go out and spend a thousand dollars to get into fishing. We talked about it with the hunting thing. Yep. You don't have to go out and spend all this money to do all these crazy right. things. Take your hunter safety, even if you're if you're old enough not to need it. Go take it. Why not? Especially if you're newer to the, you know, if you're new to Tennessee or something. It's it just is good a good habits. thing. It's an educational. Doesn't, doesn't Tennessee's free fishing day fall really close to when the bluegill will spawn? Yeah. So, well, there are a few now. There are yeah. two or three that I know of, and kids fish free a lot. I yeah. mean, you just. Yeah. It's up to a certain age, isn't it, Tennessee? In Tennessee, it's up, up to 13. 15 was hunting. Fishing is different. Fishing yeah. is fishing's fishing's 12 different. to that's, 13. That's sort of the nice right. thing about getting people. If you want to get people right. into the outdoors, is fishing is a very low. Right. In inter- turn, you know. It, beginning in, or, uh, investment because yeah. you're just buying mm-hmm. a license that's it yeah. you're not taking a course you're not you're just Mm-mm. you go. can absolutely if, even if you don't want to fish you could go sit beside a body of water spend 20 bucks to get yep. your kid f- completely geared up and, you know and just go sit by the water with them yep. I, they're going to have the time of their yep. lives even if they don't catch anything you're splashing and 
I still like to splash in the water, you know. Yeah. Whatever. If if you're not catching anything, whatever, we'll entertain ourselves. But I still think it's funny when you see like kids, they go fishing and they actually catch something. Mm-hmm. And they're like, Mom, how do I get it off the hook? Yeah. And mom's like, I don't know. My background, <laughs> my background picture is my daughter. Is we were catfishing. I caught catfish. a little one, and she's like, "Daddy, I want to hold it." And I was like, "Oh," but I mean, I she just short of squeezed the life out of that fish. I said, <laughs> hold "You got to hold." I said, "You got to hold it tight." You know, put it under the quill, <laughs> and she was holding it. And I was like, this fish is hurting. We got to take his picture quick, you know. It's a whole and we new put definition him back. of blue cat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just, I, it's just one of those things. Like, she had so much fun. And then we fished at my father-in-law's house one day, and she pulled the fish up, was like, what did I just do? You know, and she's three. That's yeah. that's the best. And that reminded yeah. me of your daughter when she was using her ultralight and caught, caught that catfish. catfish. Like, yeah. her face lit up. Yeah, she's, caught, so. she's caught a bunch of fish, but that yeah. 10-ish pound yeah. With an ultralight. ultralight. It's like, it's ultralight. like us catching a shark. other you know, side of the water. Right. Like, Multiple times. Gone. Going king fishing or something. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, we're we're grown. Mm-hmm. It's still fun. Yeah. You know? If I catch a... It makes me If something gives right me now. a good fight, if I get a little two-pound cat, uh, two pound fish, it gives me a good fight, I'm like, got that head shake going, yeah, you know? Right. You get them in, you're like, all right. Man, you know, they're used so, to, I get upset. There's but almost nothing better than that of, of oh, your man. bail just... Just running out, and you're like, "Yep, this, this is, is it. Fun. This, is, this fun. is what this I've is prepared my one. whole life for." Now it can, everyone is. Fun. It can also turn the other direction because I've had many, many, many fish fishing up north that just start pulling line, yeah. and you never see it again. Mm-hmm. And it happens. And, and you never know like what that. it is. We've course, got some yeah. dirty Walleye creeks fishing. and ponds and stuff oh, here yeah. too, but you know, I mean, I've you go and that time the time that we took you bow fishing we saw two freshwater eel that night yeah i've only ever seen probably two in my bow fishing career and we saw two in one night yeah it's just that's a weird critter to see you can watch tv and you can google stuff and everything else but when you see it firsthand oh yeah it doesn't have to be the seven wonders of the world to be you know a good memory but with everything going on in the world right now Mm -hmm. like you, you can go out there for two you spend 20 bucks spend two hours you know with your kid or Whatever, friend, neighbor, whatever it is. Do it yourself, too. Yeah, you get a lifetime of memories. Yep. If it's your first fish you ever catch and somebody's talking crap about it, that's a bad friend, mm-hmm. you know? I mean, it, it. just go out and do it. I know I did see you catch your first fish. You're welcome. Okay. Look, we just going to have to settle this. That's all there is. I think, yeah, absolutely. I'll wear my Daisy Dukes and we can run it. Yeah. If anybody's got a boat we can borrow, so we can actually have two different boats. That way we can actually see how this works. Because I can film two of you on separate boats. <laughs> we'll get you a chase oh boat. <laughs> All right. We'll tell you. If we start the icy tech one, we could like tow you. Then I can't, I can't drink wine then. If I'm you operating can a if boat. you're being towed. Mm. Mm. I don't think so. No, we just put you in a boat and me in a boat. Mm. and I'll have like a tube. No, and then we'll have... We'll have we'll, <laughs> Us four will go. Us, <laughs> us four will go. Me and Will I go. I like my the boat. idea of putting them in inner tubes. Y'all, y'all go in. Yeah. A different That'd be boat. a great camera angle. Live too. action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it going. Oh. I, I mean, when are we doing it? That's I mean, actually. Gotta that's all I've been doing all week is searching for boats on Marketplace. That's mm. all I've been doing. Actually, for two weeks. Well, longer than that. But I've been sending them out like, hey, what do you think of this one? Nope. I mean, I think I think mm. it should happen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Awkward. I'd say loser has to do something really embarrassing, but Matt would voluntarily lose, and that would not be cool. I also promise you that the loser will get enough on this show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 100. I'm down. I'm down. I remember by the second day, halfway through, somebody said, I just can't figure it out. They won't take the crickets. I'm going back to worms. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Do you want to know how I know that isn't a true statement? We didn't use crickets. You brought not crickets. Once. No, I did not. What did you bring? I have never. You brought something else with us on the second trip. No. Yes, you did. You always brought the bait. Always. I only brought earth. I brought earthworms. You had something else you tried. Pause for a second while I go pop some popcorn. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna post up over I here. And I swore you brought crickets. Are crickets are great on the bait, trip. but Jerry. the reason that I won't Jerry. use them is they're too close to spiders. <laughs> I promise you I did not bring crickets. I swore you brought something. Camel crickets. The second day. Ooh, There's minnows only one other thing. Did you bring minnows? I, probably not for bluegill. 
The only other thing I think I could have brought, I'm not going to say in the air. When we get off, I'll, I'll say oh, the yeah. other thing. But I, I didn't bring bait. You brought the bait. Swear, not the first brought, trip. You not brought, with, not red, with Billy. You brought trip. earthworm, or you brought night crawlers, and you brought red worms. Yes. Those were the two <laughs> things that you brought. Yes. I didn't ever bring it. You can't even tell they're related, can you? <laughs> <laughs> we are not related. Dude, I really just picture this whole image of like, have you ever seen the movie A Knight's Tale? No. No? No? You need to. Because because I got Selene it's in, it's in, in it. No, it's, this, it's in, it's this in. is a direct result of two people who are just itching to get fuck. Oh, excuse me. Like, oh, 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 flag on the play, and that's it from the icy tech studios <laughs> forever. <laughs> we just need to get out fishing. We're going stir crazy. That's what it boils down to. Some people go fishing at night. Some people fish during the day. I'm just itching to get out. I have not fished at all this year. I'm dying to get out. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat. So I don't care if it's competition. Let's or go. Not. If it's an excuse to get out fishing, I'm game. I'd love to. He's like, I could care less. The only reason we haven't gone yet is because neither of us own a boat. I know. What's wrong with bank fishing, you bougie people? Nothing. All right. How many banks are close we can't, to us? We can't get to our spot bank fishing. Okay. Then so you're going to go, go, go to the same chalk spot, and we're not going to learn Spots. anything other than Spots. who gets it into the boat. I yep. say, to make it fair, neutral ground. It's taken me... Seven or eight years to find these spots. Sure, it took Patrick one trip because I showed you had never even been to that spot yet. So you said you wanted to try that lake because you kept going to the other one. I'm the referee. I'm the referee. We're going to a neutral spot. Fair enough. You get he's never been to whatever 100 yards back wherever it is. Fish your spot, right? No, you don't have to have a boat. I'm talking about just nope bank (laughs) fishing. Nope. You want bank fish? I'll do it. Neutral ground. I'll bring a boat. You both prefer boats. <laughs> we gotta keep it on the you both plane. prefer to go find your spot. I say we take like four hours, go plant your bad-mouthed <laughs> selves. <laughs> you know? It didn't come out, just for the record. Mm. It was the first two letters did. God knows. But <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. The third letter came out, which doesn't need the fourth letter. Right. Or, w- or was it the fourth letter that <laughs> came out before to the, the play playback? Skip the I'm pretty sure. Never I know. Anyways, let's quit talking about. Sure, that. Sure, but anyway, <laughs> so I, I, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, it's. I mean, I think to make it a real competition, I agree. You Neutral know, water. no pre-fishing, no anything. You get your stuff. That's what you're supposed to say on air. It's a family <laughs> program, <laughs> and uh, there's nothing family about this. <laughs> Your dad. Well, at least I'm not grandpa anymore. Oh, you'll be papa sometime. Dude, when you're I'm, complaining about being old. I'm gonna make your it, pinky. I'm gonna make an entire promo for this. Like I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, if I ever lose my pinky, I'm never drinking anything again. Not even water. <laughs> I'll make you a glo- I'll make you a hand like in Happy Gilmore. Oh. Stop. Okay. <laughs> the wooden one. The gator got it. Be my strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's not strong enough. Put some lotion on it. That's it. Wow. <laughs> Where are you tonight? <laughs> it's from a movie, dude. <laughs> Saint it. Yeah. I don't know about the Knight's Tale, but we know about Buffalo Bill. Yeah, right. It's <laughs> the lotion uh, in the bucket. Oh, my face hurts. Yeah, that, was, that was his nickname in high school. <laughs> bucket of lotion? <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo, Buffalo o'clock, hey, yeah. Buffalo, Ohio. It's Bill. twelve minutes past seven. Buffalo, Ohio, Bill. Oh. <laughs> to be continued. We need to figure this out. Seriously, we need to figure this out. I'm, I'm going with what you said, but I also agree with Matt. I'm, I'm not fond of bank fishing. Sure, but well, it's I'm not fine. an option. I'm fine with it, but it's not as fun. <clears throat> sure, but we just told everybody that you know they can just have fun going and fishing. Absolutely. Yeah. But we've done that since we were two. Sure. But Probably younger. If you, so I think you should show them bank fishing competition. Let's run it. We can do it in a three part thing. We could do one on a boat if you want. I don't care. You can fish off a jet ski or a tube. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but the first one, we're going to bank fish. I'll pick the spot and we'll run it. And nobody gets in trouble for a BUI. Nobody what? Gets in trouble for a BUI. I've never been in trouble for BUI. Right. Boating while intoxicated. I know. That would be BWI. Boating under, under the, the influence. influence. Nah, whatever. Of fun. I don't think he's gotten one either. <laughs> You've never gotten in trouble for boating. He doesn't meet the no, height requirement do, to I, operate. I do know somebody who, who got one. Oh, oh I, I do too. too. 
But that's not us. Right, because we'll be on the bank. Well, once they see you're drinking box wine and you're on a boat, I'm pretty sure they're going to laugh at you before writing you a ticket. It's fine. Laugh at me. Just get the ticket and just laugh. <laughs> there he goes. That's what life's all about. No tickets. Just laugh. Let, <laughs> let's plan this out. But ser- on a serious note, before we go, if you know of a venue in the counties of Lake O'Brien, Gibson, Carroll, Henry, Madison, what am I missing? I mean, really, <laughs> yes. really west of the river. <laughs> East of Shelby and, yeah. you know. That would be great. Within an hour drive of Greenfield, yeah. Tennessee. Not Hardeman, not Shelby, not, right. you know, whatever. Just keep it. Keep not it. Shelby. No. In any case, any of those areas that Matt rattled off would be great. Um, and we'd, we'd really like to try to get this done by June. I don't yeah. want to wait past oh, yeah. June. So, Man, like, yeah, if we could get it done like late April, early May, or something. Even well, I think April's be... gonna be too short of notice. Right. So but I, think I mean, late May, early June. If we went with he didn't think it was April yet. Then we would have plenty of time. That's a fact. Yeah. It's still March, True. Dad. We got plenty of time. <laughs> I gotta take my medicine and go to bed. Amen. It's past my bedtime. God, you sound old. I don't know. Gotta take my medicine and go to bed. Dude, Sorry. I've been so tired lately. I don't know if it's a pollen or what. It's not. Tired of getting your ass kicked fishing. What? <laughs> Haven't even been fishing yet. So. That was a zinger. <laughs> I wish it stung. Because I'd hungry. be like, that means I went fishing, and then I'd be happy. But Let's go eat. Depressed. Me yeah. too. I want a burger. Get your popcorn ready, because it's going to be a showdown. There you go. And there's your promo. And that's why you're at the desk. <laughs> <laughs> We should get him a dunce cap. Look, hey, let's get together, make a promo for this. We're gonna we're gonna get everybody involved. I'm gonna the make showdown. I'm gonna make a couple of calls and see if we can have somebody cool from the fishing world there. <laughs> it's not crappy masters. This is the crappy masters. That's a, it's it's fitting to be. <laughs> but this could turn into like an annual tournament with yeah. people buying in and stuff. Right. Just saying. Right. And all the proceeds go to charity and stuff. You and have you to have get a boat fancy with no boats. motor. We can make these all kinds of goofy rules. Right. I would, take, a, I would take the engine off my sixty thousand dollar boat or kayak PWCs with no power. This could be actually kind of cool. This would be like a redneck Riviera fishing tournament. Let's just start with y'all bank fishing. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how my mind works, man. No, you know, and that's cool. <laughs> Adult rodeo. It, yeah, it could be. Yes. It could be a thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I've I've golfed in a tournament before. It's bad. Not allowed back. <laughs> Did you finish? Oh, God. He's not allowed back. I'm not allowed back. <laughs> I'm assuming he made yeah, it, I'm gonna get, he made I'm it gonna to the 7th. <laughs> it was quiet. No, but like golf carts, no sand pits for golf carts. <laughs> Stay on the cart path. <laughs> I thought it was a suggestion. Like, I thought it was like, oh, we don't think the golf cart will make it through. I was like, challenge accepted. <laughs> Sounds like a good one with Will episode. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you Are you have a gag order? You can't talk about it. I... We'll move on from that. <laughs> Not hmm. yet. <laughs> All right. Well, until next week, ask yourself, what are you grateful for? Live from Ice Tech Studios in West Tennessee, I'm Patrick. I'm still Matt. I'm Will. And I'm Nick. And we'll see you next week when we head back to the lodge. Hey, everybody. Nick here from Back to the Lodge. Just want to let you know this episode was brought to you by Mossy Oak, Icy Tech USA, and Higdon Outdoors. Just want to give our sponsors a big thank you to everything that they've done for us. And, hey, if you want to catch us live each Wednesday night from 6 to 7, right here on our Facebook page, Back to the Lodge podcast, you don't want to miss it. So until next time, we'll see you when we head Back to the Lodge.